to my final tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is, like I said in the last tutorial, we'll be uh, making the main platform game, platform game, sorry. Um, and this will most likely be split into either two or three tutorials, depending on how big uh, this is. Um, I have provided all of the action script coding, which will be in the description below, just to make things easy for you guys. You know, just to just to save some time. Um, so first off, I'm just going to show you guys this final game. Yeah, this is a, so I've pre-made everything, so I will explain how to do some things as well. So you can see when I go over darkens. So the rules you just got. It's not really rules. It's just instructions really. So your portal, enemy, up key, left key, right key, your character, the ground, uh, back, play. So this is level one. Level two, so that's your enemy there. Number three, so what happens is, like, so if I fall off the edge, I'll come back through this main portal here, and if I hit a ca an enemy, I go back to the portal. So, oop. okay, that works too. I didn't mean to do that actually. Uh, so same with that, it goes straight back. So that green portal will take me. That green portal here will take me up there. And cross. There uh, and you win. It's the menu, just like that. So, uh, all right. So, I'm just gonna start off by going uh, through this entire thing. Don't know why that's a button, but okay. Um, so here is gonna start with the first page. So, just make a. Um, uh, so you want to make two buttons here. So just go and get your oval tool. Uh, select uh, one of these down here for the color. Uh, just make your circle and just add a, a text in the center. Just play. Um, and I'll just break that apart just for now. And then you want to highlight all of that. Um, convert to symbol, so F8 or just right click on it and call it play or whatever you want and make sure it's button so, but I've already got that so it's alright and it's the same with that too alright so you've got those there now so you want to make two more keyframes delete everything on both of those and then on the second um, frame is going to be your rules which is more like instructions I'm just not sure why I call that rules um, so you want back button up the top here I'm just going to leave, like, leave that there for now we'll worry about all that about later and so what you want to do is go right click on rules go actions and you want to go on release bracket in the brackets uh, open symbol and to go to and stop bracket three no, no sorry bracket two semicolon check and same with just copy all that in the actions same thing for play except make that um, number three and back that to the back one just change that to one nice and easy simple um, let's create a new layer call that stop uh, actions just go stop bracket bracket semicolon so you do that now your rules take you there play take it to the third one uh, so now we're going to start uh, setting this up. So um, grab your character. So I've just made um, just a little circle, dark blue, with the border around it. Uh, make sure um, it's not on there. So just bring it apart. Make sure your strokes something higher, like four or five, something like that. 
um, just so it it avoids glitching. Um, I'll explain that a bit later. And then you want so I've just got simple first course here. You can do something like this if you want. It's the same with this too. If we break it apart, that's stroke four. So you're gonna have something like that. Um, so I've told you to have that up in the corner somewhere for a reason. Um, that's because when you have your portal here, put that behind. So have that like, somewhere in the top corner, in the top of the portal there. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to go down here. Just grab your rectangle tool and just do that. Just make a long bar down the bottom. You can just move it there, right at the bottom. And then you want to go, um, go to your, so right click on it, go to your fill and stroke here, just go alpha, change that to zero. Oops, no, not that, sorry. Change alpha, zero. Oh, there we go. So it's, oops, I think I stuffed that one up. Um, oh, sorry. Um, oh, what am I doing? I already got that. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so you want to make it um, a movie clip. So that's movie clip there. And then you want to change this. So you just change the alpha to zero. So what that does is it sort of makes it invisible. But it just, it's sort of like being invisible or like that, except the color is there. Just that um, it's it's been toned down, so it looks like it's invisible. Um, all right, so you want to go to your uh, actions for this. Go to your, so I've got all my scripting here just in a in a notepad. Uh, you want reset symbol. You want copy that and paste that in there. So you see here how you have uh, char x and char y. Get rid of that. Exit out. And when you go to your character, your properties, in so under so here you have instant name, change it to C H A R. And then you want to, to um, the X and Y, so 41 and 63, that's for me. Yours will probably be something different. So go back down here, 41, oops, and 63. So I'll explain what all that is in a minute. And you go back to your character actions, and then copy the character actions into that, so that's all fine. And now what you want to do is, uh, oops, sorry, that's the wrong one, that needs to go there, sorry. Uh, bring that to front. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. Oh, just copy that one, paste it, and break it apart. Yeah, yeah just like that. And on this portal here, actions, go to your scripting, copy the portal one, change that. So in root dot go to and stop, put a five in the brackets, and then insert keyframe. Um, and then in the middle on the frame four is insert. Oops, sorry, insert. Ah. Uh, um, in the, and so in frame 4 insert a blank keyframe and in this frame here just get rid of that just, actually no sorry, sorry keep that there keep that there sorry alright so now when you play it so your ball starts up there and it drops down and so when it hits this reset box here since the actions on there 
since the character back to 4163 is where it is now. So what you're missing is you go to your ground layer, go instance name, instant name, sorry, and ground. Just like that. And that will change everything. So now your character will sit on there, use the arrow keys left, right, and up. You go jump that. And so that will lead to that that's on actually on frame five now. So when you when your character hits that portal, it will get transported to the next level. So you now you're on here. Just put that in again. So everything should still be the same. You should all have that in there. Just change that to frame seven. 